having this event is my dream and I've adapted to the conditions and I know what it takes and what I need to learn and I've just worked on that really hard over the last year and a half. Okay, you just started. So now it's started. Started. We're on. We're on. We're on. Being here in one place and being all in the session is sick. If I don't get podium, I think that's my last king of the year. hanging off the shore, so excited to push it hard and hopefully achieve my dream. King of the Air 2021. Yeah, it's been a bit of a while, and it's a strange time of year. What are you? What are your thoughts on it? And yeah, it's like almost two years in the making, um, and we're having it uh, November this year instead of February. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if the win actually, if we score it better than we normally have. But yeah, I mean today we got a bit of win. It's looking good, and it's looking like the southeast is just starting to fill in like next week as well. So could really score it. We don't know. Um, I just excited to be here, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been super strange not having it here for the past two years, but it's back. Um, straight, a little bit of a different date, but everyone's back in town. It's going to be a wild time. And you've had a few good good runs at King of the Air, but you haven't had a win. Um, do you think that's going to change this year? Um, obviously, I'm like a goofy foot rider, so I'm dominant coming in. But it's 70 percent height so no one's ever won it coming in all the, everyone's won it going out off the waves so i adapted i changed my game plan i'm like this is what's scoring this is what i need to do um and uh last year i i learned all, everything switch off the waves and it seemed to pay off i got my best result last year so i've just stuck with that game plan i've had a you know a year and a half training on my switch and it's just got into a, a stage that i'm even more stoked about um, so just excited to show what I've been working on and and yeah, hopefully I can pull it off. I mean, last year uh, Jesse, Nick and myself were all in an event and we all did well. We all won something. Uh, Nick Nick got second and won the best trick. Jesse won it. I got fourth equal and then I won the Woo stop Woo highest jump. So North just took it out uh, last year and we're, hopefully we can do it again this year. Uh, we don't have Jesse. Uh, which is a shame because he's one of the, the biggest threats in my eyes for this event, the craziest. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've still got Nick and we've got Tom Bridge is the new one this year. So that's exciting as well to see what he can pull. Yeah, so let's get on the water. <laughs> classic classic pre-King of the Air going down now. We've got a couple of days of wind in just before the, the window starts. So we've got Mark out there now on the 10 meter giving a bit of a bash. And Jed and I are going to go get in his way. Um, give yourself a little extra pressure so you can get that, uh, that training in mind dialed. So what do you think of karting in Cape Town? Yeah, it's sick. Uh, it feels really mellow compared to the storms in Europe. You know, it's warm, it's kind of sunny. It's just as a shitload of tits.
it's real mellow compared to kiting in the UK um, in the storms and all where it's about four degrees. Um, it's just there's a shit ton of people around. Uh, I was in Brazil for about two weeks before this. Not exactly big air training, but um, it was good to get some time on the water before I came here. It's sick having everyone here and uh, being able to like organise sessions with uh, with the full team. You know, you don't get it all year round because you're all you know separate in all different parts of the world. So being here in one place and being all in the session is sick. I'm so used to it. Yeah. Yeah. Is they, is just how it is. Is there always a it's, paparazzi yeah. crew like this? Yeah. One? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so my preparation for the 2021 Red Bull King of the Air hasn't been on point. Uh, due to Corona, I haven't been traveling too much, so uh, I haven't been riding big air for at least a month and a half. So for this year, King of the Air, I do have two new moves. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to pull them off. I think I'm gonna wait, wait to pull them off um, until I'm in a heat with a really strong opponent, so uh, I don't, you know, show anyone. My goals for Kota this year is podium. If I don't get podium, I think that's my last King of the Air. My thoughts on the, on the North team are pretty good, pretty high. I think that the dynamic between the riders are just, you know, on point and um, I think we're going to be doing pretty well. So we are at the event site. Uh, the wind is slowly picking up, the tablecloth is show, slowly appearing and uh, it's, it's looking pretty solid. I think uh, I think Tom I think Tom Bridge is gonna pull some insane tricks today. No one really expects Tom, including himself. Bro, are you feeling motivated? Jake wants to know. I want to know if you're motivated for this thing of the air that's about to go down. One jump for this trip. I'll get off my phone, that's not a very good shot, is it? Kevin Langery. Kev and then whoever yeah. was just like this. Kevin and one of these dudes, so what's your so plan? Just Kevin? to go big and turn heads, let's hope. That's all. Do stuff that other people aren't doing. Have you got any secret tricks that no one knows about you? We'll see what happens in the air, won't we? Oh, it's Lenny. Oh, yeah, he's not started. So now it's started. Started. We're on. We're on. We're on. <laughs> Yeah. I liked it. I enjoyed it. 
We got the big hitters next. What's your prediction? We got Mark Jacobs gonna take this heat straight after Nick Jacobson gonna take the heat. Styling boys. How's that brass? There he is. It's all in last heat of the day. Last heat of the day. Good enough win. I don't I don't think so, no. But I'm gonna go ten. And I'm feeling I'm actually feeling pretty good. And then maybe have the nine ready because it seems like it's picking up a bit. I'm getting that nine. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous because I'm up against the Angeli. Sometimes she just destroys it. I hope she won't destroy me. So, so Nick is very worried about this heat. Do you have any words of encouragement for him? Good luck, Nick. riding at my pace I wasn't pushing it out of my comfort zone and then just felt really good out there and really calm and you know there are two big names I mean yeah and I just feel even more confident for the next heat so yeah just can't wait till tomorrow Tom's gonna do something steezy. I don't, I don't know, he's got, he's got his work cut out for him, but Tom uh, is good at creating and he's got crazy style and you just never know what he's gonna whip. So I'm hoping he, he, he's, he whips something in the bag and shocks people because he can do that. So yeah, looking forward to it. I feel like uh, I feel like Tom. He's he's you know pulling himself together now because he knows that it's a big event and he needs to perform. And that's coming to show now. It's good to see. It was a bit of a slow start, I think, for both of us because we had no waves. Um, so I was kind of like waiting around. When you have a proper wave, you just get so much bigger. So I was just waiting around for that and then I realized, hey, I'm wasting time here. Just get a few trips out the bag. But luckily towards the end of the last two minutes, we got a good set of waves and I won my, my two biggest hits. Um, so hopefully my next hit, I get more waves because I just want to go massive. But yeah, I really need some good kickers for that. I definitely haven't pushed 100% at all yet, but in saying that, yeah, just finding my groove, but just pushing as much as I can to know to pass the heat without risking myself. Uh, yeah, I'm up against Kevin, and uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very uh, comfortable and um, very chilled. That's what it's all about, for me at least.
What do you want me to say? How are you feeling, bro? I'm feeling good. Yeah. I had a fun heat with Kevin. It's always great riding against them. And uh, I think he nailed it on that last one. So much fun riding against Kevin. We always ride together anyway, so it was just a just another session. Yeah, hey, super proud. All, nah, all good, nah. brother. Super proud. I have yeah. some more news. Now we can see. Yeah. <laughs> so we got Mark left in the comp. Got any words of encouragement for him? I'm sure he'll do. He'll do just fine. He had a good heat against Tom, I saw. So yeah, he'll definitely kill it. Uh, Liam, I'm gonna have to go all in. So hopefully you get some waves and just go as big as possible. How are you feeling? Uh, good, but I gotta go now. <laughs> Just how I 
vision it could be on my birthday and managed to pull the win, just beyond stoked. I feel like I'm in the dream right now. I, I'm, I'm still not sure if I'm, if I'm dreaming. I need to pinch myself to wake up. I finally achieved my biggest dream of my life and just proud of myself that, you know, that I managed to change my game plan and focus on what I need to do to make the win and managed to pull it off on my birthday, so beyond stoked. I worked so hard towards this and I think it's just gonna motivate me to try and defend it next year and I just can't wait, can't wait to just keep training my ass off and bring something new to the table next year and try and defend it. Motivation, I mean, if you're motivated and you work hard, your dreams will always come true, but just experience is everything, something you can't buy. So study, study the game, study the comps you wanna do well in, watch all the heats, watch what's winning, what's scoring high, Focus on what you need to do to win and just train your ass off.